crafty friends. I hope you're having a fabulous day. My name is Robin Pitts with Sir Chauncey Rocco Creative Designs. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment to hit that red subscribe button and the little bell so that you will always be notified when I upload a new video. Today, I have a fun project to share with you. I've created this lovely layered heart rosette. This is a new digital file by My Scrap Chick and I could not wait to start working with this. Before I go into further detail, let me show you the paper that I use. I use the Linen Closet Stack by DCWV. This is an older stack that came out several years ago and I had it in my craft vault. I also use the coordinating solid card stocks and these include both pearl, linen, and glittered paper. I love the way this heart rosette turned out. I think it is so beautiful and it's proof that you don't have to use hearts only when it's Valentine's Day. I created this heart as an embellishment to include in a happy mail package that I'm creating. This heart measures three and a quarter tall by three and a quarter wide and the file includes five different layers. There's a larger flat scalloped heart which I did not include for this example. You have the large heart rosette, you have a flat heart, which is a medium size, and then you have a tiny heart, and then on top of that you have a tiny flat heart which goes on top. I use this beautiful damask paper, and for the medium heart I line that with this beautiful gold rhinestone. In the center, I've layered this with a resin ivory colored heart. On the top, I've created this fun sentiment that says wonderful. And then I've added another little resin heart here, also in yellow. I've included this beautiful floral spray. We have blue and white roses and these little berries. And then I finished it off with this gold seam binding and pearl. If you look on the side, this is a very sizable heart. And I've just included it on this piece of paper here, which will be included in the packaging. On the back, I use the medium flat heart to seal off the back. I included removable pop dots on the back so that I can attach it to the back just like so. Let me show you how this will be packaged. In my previous video, I showed you how to make these simple bag toppers using the bracket easel card also by my scrap chick. I think this makes such a lovely presentation. On the top here, I have this beautiful ivory crocheted lace. I've included more of this gold rhinestone. We have this floral spray here, more seam binding. And then we have a sentiment from the paper collection that says so sweet. And then I finished it off with a little pearl. So I will package this one just like this. And this is what the back looks like. I finished it off with more of this beautiful lace. Now that we've reviewed the heart rosette, let's grab our materials and make it together. I have imported and cut out all of the images that we need to make our layered rosette heart. In your file, you will receive the large scalloped heart. There are two pieces that make the large rosette heart. You have two smaller pieces which make the smaller rosette heart. And then you have a medium heart and a small heart. Before we make the heart, there are a few things that I want to point out. When you import the heart rosette image into your design software, you need to make sure to attach the score lines to the images. If you don't do that, they will cut as two individual images. So you need to attach the score lines to each piece that has a score line. Also, each of the score lines in the file will cut as individual tick marks. If you don't want that and you just want a nice score line, you can simply change the cut line to score line and then you'll have individual lines just like this. Hopefully you can see that. And to cut this, I'm using my scoring blade and my Cricut Maker. And if you have a Cricut Explorer, you can just use your stylus. The other thing I want to point out is that on the bottom of the heart, you'll notice that there are little tiny holes. These holes are to make the rosette using a sewing needle. To do that, you would simply thread a needle and then weave it in between each of these holes and then squish it together to create the rosette. 
I prefer to do it the old-fashioned way by doing a Mountain Valley Mountain Valley fold and that's what we're going to do for this. The other thing I want to point out is that you have these two pieces that will be attached just like so. When you fold these you want to make sure that the piece on the left is folded down and the piece on the right is folded up and these will be glued together just like so. So I'm going to go ahead and fold along the score line and then we will be ready to put together our first heart rosette. I have accordion folded the larger heart as well as a small heart and so now we can begin to glue these together. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue here to attach these two panels and I'm going to slide this piece right there. And then I'm going to glue the other two pieces. And you see that these fit perfectly inside one another. Now we have a rosette attached. This is the front of the heart. This is where it dips down. So I'm going to turn this over like so. And then I'm going to push in the panels. Now what I want to do is I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I am going to put a large dollop of hot glue in the center of this rosette and I'm going to squeeze these pieces together just like so and give it a nice firm hold. You might need to put a little bit more glue in the center. I'm going to let this dry a little bit and then I'm going to take my spatula and just shimmy it off the mat. And there is our first rosette. Okay, let's do that for the smaller rosette. Put a little glue here. Now this one you have to be a little bit more careful because the pieces are so tiny. We're going to attach it just like so. Okay, and then I'm going to push this down to form the rosette. I'm going to put a little glue in the center here and then put that right over the center of the glue and then push all of the edges together okay and once her heart is glued you can scrape it up from the mat and there is our adorable little mini heart so let's start assembling this i'm going to take this large brown heart this is going to be layered on top just like so then i'm going to glue this piece on and then I'm going to glue on the mini heart right in the center. And then last but not least, I'm going to glue on this little tiny heart. And here is our completed layered heart rosette. I think that looks really pretty. You can leave this as is, or if you want to further embellish it with flowers and ribbons and gems, that would be great as well. This concludes my review of my layered heart rosette. Hopefully I've inspired you with new and creative ideas. If you like this video, please take a moment to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment. I love reading your messages. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Bye for now and happy crafting.